that group will face the right hander 26 year old Tony Gonsolin who is from California. He has an ERA of just under 10 but he's made the one start look pretty good. Now Brandon Lau swing and a drive hit towards left center field giving Chase's Taylor all the way back to the wall. It's gone. A first inning homer for Brandon Lau. One nothing Ray. Second home run of the postseason for Brandon. And I really, really like the fact that it went out toward left center field. That means he stayed on the baseball a little bit longer and shows the strength that he has when he does make contact. And that ball got small in a hurry. Blake Snell, 27 year old left hander from Seattle, year two of a five year deal. And he signed that deal coming off a Cy Young award winning season. Betts and Seeger in the postseason, they have been lethal. Swung on and missed. And the strikeout starts the night for Snell. This is the disappearing slider. Seeger flies out. Two quick outs for Blake Snell on the first. That is strike three called on the outside portion at a 1 2 3 inning. On 10 pitches, we find out. And at the end of one, it's Rays one, Dodgers nothing. Dylan Floro is now on in relief. The Dodgers already have the infield in. Right handed hitting Willie Adamas. The ground ball to short. Seeger comes home, and Margot is out from Arlington to Dallas. Gunned down by Seeger with the infield in, a big out, and there's two gone. Well, he was going on contact, but with the Dodgers really playing a shift, three men to the left side of the infield, a little surprising he was going on balls hit to that side of the infield versus hit to the right field side. For the Dodgers, two free passes here in the second. Kike in the fifth inning last night, a pinch hit single, drove in a run. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. A three pitch strikeout of Kike Hernandez, and Blake Snell walks two. And strikes out two in the inning to keep the Rays in front. Betts retired. There's two out. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Woo! Got him. Swing and a miss at a beautiful curveball. And, folks, Blake Snell's got it going on right now. He's got six strikeouts through three innings. And the Rays have two on with two outs. And Joey Wendell coming up. Swing and a drive to the gap in right center. On the run, the right fielder. Betts, he can't get it. It's going to go all the way to the wall. Troy will score. Here comes Margot flying around third. He will score as well on a two-run double by Joey Wendell. It's 3-0 Rays. This pitch comes off the side of his hand. See the circle. See it did not turn at all. That's just sitting right there in the middle of the plate. Maybe the biggest hit so far in this postseason when you think about what they weren't able to do. That is going to add to their confidence. There's two out. Nobody on in the fourth. Will Smith coming up. 3-2 pitch, and that's eight strikeouts for Blake Snell. A dominant start by the former Cy Young Award winner. He has not allowed a hit through four. Wow, in a quiet postseason until his first inning home run. He hit 14 during the regular year. Swing and a fly ball, well hit into left field. Going back is Taylor, all the way back towards the wall. It's gone! A two-run homer for Brandon Lau, his second of the night. And the Rays have a 5 nothing lead. Rapo Tato, if you will, for Brandon Lau. Stand in the baseball again and just they had that one extra biscuit for breakfast this time. Off the top of the wall out there, the yellow padding and into the seats. A two out walk constitutes a rally for the Dodgers today. Now, Chris Taylor <laughs> swings and there's a fly ball to right field. Heading on back to the wall and gone a home run. And well, Margot ran out of room. And Taylor's running around the bases. The Dodgers are on the board. There goes the no-hitter. There goes the shutout. The Rays lead over the Dodgers is now 5-2. Now the Rays have Choi at third. Margot at first. Nobody out. Wendell also popped to medium center. His only time up. Here's a chance for the Rays. Swing and a line drive to the gap in left center. Heading over is Taylor. Makes the catch on the run. Choi tags. Hence for home. He will score. And the Rays have a 6-2 lead. Will Smith has struck out twice. And the Rays, they lead it 6-2. to two. Will Smith with a fly ball to left field. Well hit. No four-man outfield is going to defend that. It's a home run. Will Smith with his second home run of the postseason. It is 6-3. to three. Tell you what, but is the offense the Dodgers have been able to exhibit during the season and also during the postseason? This game is a long way from being over. Seeger will lead it off facing a shift on the right side of the infield and there's a fly ball into center field Kiermaier going back to the wall and it's gone a home run Corey Seeger 
With his seventh home run of the postseason, the Dodgers move to within two. It's a race six and the Dodgers four. There are two men out, one run in and one man on. It'll be Ballinger, last year's MVP in the National League. Strike three call. 95 right down the middle. He caught Bellinger looking, and the Dodgers are put away here in the eighth. So the Dodgers are down to their final out. Castillo delivers. Check swing, the appeal, the Rays win. Strike three, said Chris Guccione at first, and the Rays have evened up the 2020 World Series.